Hi everyone, welcome to Greeklish Outdoors. Today we're going to review the Climate Static V insulated model. Stick around. So I bought the uh, Climate Insulated Static V sleeping pad about a year ago now. I've used it on multiple um, camping trips. Um, I got it from Amazon for about uh, 90 pounds it was. Um, the review is really good which uh, encouraged me. Uh, people said it was very, very comfortable. And uh, now I will share to you my experiences with this mat. So the pad itself does come pressed down fairly small, about the size of a large, very large water bottle. It's pretty light, 680 grams, which for an insulated uh, sleeping pad is, is fairly light. When fully inflated, it is uh, 183 by 58 centimeters, which is 72 by 23 inches, and with a depth of about six centimeters, which is 2.5 inches. Uh, so this sleeping bag, I did, I did buy it for myself, and um, it is a little bit small. I'm about 187, so my feet do hang over the edge a little bit. It inflates fairly quickly. Um, the valve is very, very good on it. It doesn't really leak. I've had no problems with it since I've actually used it. And it is compatible with uh, the electronic um, air pumps as well. So the 4.4 valley, R valley, which they gave, was seemed to be plucked out of thin air. Because when they actually did the ASTM um, value in, it was actually only 1.9, which was very disappointing. I know you might say that like 90 pounds is not a lot of money, but it was for me at the time. I actually thought I was upgrading quite significantly with my pad. Now I do feel in cold, in cold weather it, it is sucking the warmth out of me. So I do have to use it in combination with another sleep pad or potentially my sheepskins now, which I have. Um, so it means an ec extra weight which I have to carry, which I didn't think I was going to have to do. So let's get out of the bag and show you what it's actually like. So first of all, it has this valve on the side, which is in inflate mode at the minute, which means when you breathe into it, the air will not escape. But all you need to do is flip that around like that and the air will escape. You can either put it in deflate mode or just leave it half open like that and the air will come out very easily. So let's try and inflate the air. So that was fully inflated within 12 breaths, which is pretty good I'd say. Now it does, it also feels pretty tough. I've not actually had it on any rocky surfaces so to speak, but with uh, twigs and things like that, it performed very well. It seems quite robust. I think the issues with the cold is because although these inflated parts, of course, have got insulation and keep you off the floor, the gaps beneath is basically just the thickness of two pieces of the material just pushed together. So that means very, very little, if not no insulation at all. And that's where the cold spots I think you'll find are. So as I said, it's not a, it's not a particularly large mat. Um, 183 centimeters, a little bit short for me. It is comfortable. These baffles on the outside they do keep you in from stop you from rolling off as much. One thing I can say is if you are going to buy the Climate Static V sleeping pad, I would recommend getting this, which is the cover, it's basically the quilted sheet which goes over the actual sleeping pad. It does add a little bit extra warmth, it does add a little bit extra comfort, stops you slipping off the pad as much as well. And I think I paid approximately 20 pounds, 25 pounds I think for that, off Amazon again. So the pad, as I said, does come with this uh, little sack. Come. 
So the, the pad does come with this compression sack and inside it there's a little pouch which they do give you a little repair kit in there as well which is quite a nice touch. The bag is plenty wide enough even if you don't roll it up very tightly the bag is bigger than the actual mat when rolled up which is really handy so it makes it really easy to get it into the bag so that is one of the positives I'd say of this. Right so what are the pros and the cons overall then of this? So for one it's a very very comfortable sleeping pad I have no problems uh, sleeping on this in the right season uh, the valve on it is very, very uh, uh, user-friendly. It inflates very easily. It deflates very easily. The weight of it, it is quite light. It's way less than a kilogram, as I said before, coming in at 680 grams. The stuff sack is very generous in size. You can easily get your, your pad in there, even if not rolled up very tightly. It does come with a puncture repair kit as well. A great mat for spring, summertime, possibly autumn. Right, how about the cons? The cons of it is the fact it is definitely not a winter sleeping pad like previously stated. Um, also, it is a little bit small for me, and I'm about 6'2", so 187, 188. Um, so if you're a larger person, I would recommend getting a slightly larger pad. The price also is a little bit high for a spring-summer sleeping pad, I think. So I'm sure there are sleeping pads equally as good at this for less money for use only in spring summertime. Would I recommend it? I still would recommend the pad. It is very comfortable. I do feel a little bit annoyed that it was advertised as a cold weather sleeping pad when it is definitely not. So there we go. Let me know your thoughts on this. I hope you enjoy the video. Hope you find it useful. Take care everyone.